Here we have Triple H is up. <clears throat> After you, sir. Do me a favor, let them know Brock Lesnar was here today. Chris, first off, we have to ask you the question that Fandango asked you tonight. What gives you the right to judge Fandango? Six-time world champion. Best in the world at what I do. Enough said. Now, at WrestleMania, Fandango won his first match in WWE against you. What does it mean for you to lose, uh, to be responsible for him losing his first match tonight? I mean, at WrestleMania, it was a huge win for him. I'm not even going to try and downplay that. I think the fact that he beat Chris Jericho was a huge launching point for his career. And in retrospect, I got to give him credit. He, um, I don't know if you could say he was the better man that night, but he, he won. And that's all you can say. They don't ask you how you won. They just ask you who won. So um, my question back to him was, what are you going to do with this victory? And so far, haven't really been too impressed with what he's done about the vi with the victory. And tonight, just walking out shows maybe a little bit of what the real Fandango is like. I think the fact that his entrance music is more popular and more relevant than he is is starting to get to him. So we'll see. Now the uh, master manipulating skills of Y2J uh, came out on top tonight. So let's see what happens tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. I'm not finished with Fandango yet, not by a long shot. Thanks for your time, Chris. Thank you. Caitlin, over the past couple of weeks, we've seen a secret admirer attempt to woo you. Can you give us a rundown of some of the gifts that they've given you? Well, uh, let me just start off by saying that he's really nailing it. He got me this um, this cool hat, and it's got like gold spikes on it. Totally my style, and it can be a, uh, used as a weapon as well. So I feel like we're on the same page there. Um, he got me this like tight black dress, and it kind of fits like a glove, a fingerless glove. Um, and then he got me uh, this like Halloween edition uh, of collectible Simpsons figurines, which is amazing. I'm a huge Simpsons fan, and um, he even had a Millhouse as Fall Out Boy, which is one of my favorite episodes. And anyone who knows Simpsons knows what I'm talking about. So um, I'm usually not into this kind of stuff, but I guess I like the attention. Have you ever had a secret admirer before? Not that I know of. Final question. 
if your secret admirer is watching this, what's the one gift they can get you that'll make you go, you get me? <laughs> um, okay. I want to say unicorn, but um, we'll just leave it at that. It's kind of like open-ended, you know, some people say that unicorns don't exist, but, you know.